So in this video, I want to talk about awkwardness. You know that awkward feeling when you first approach a beautiful woman and she gets awkward, you get awkward, you feel kind of uncomfortable and you don't know what to do. And I know for me in the past, there would be a sense of wanting to run away, wanting to get out of the interaction. I'm making her uncomfortable or I'm uncomfortable. Well, today I'd like to dig into that and talk about why that is and what's really going on. But before I do, I wanna ask you to like, subscribe, and share the video. Remember, we're putting out a lot of great content. We're working hard to bring you the most cutting edge material, and I wouldn't want you to miss any of that material. So again, make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video. Help us to grow the channel, because the bigger it grows, the more I am inspired to bring you more awesome cutting edge content. So with that said, let's dive in a little deeper. I was out the other day, and I was hanging out with a, a friend of mine and a client, uh, Brad, and we were over at a bar here in Montana. It was filled with beautiful women. And as I was talking, since I haven't been out to bars in a while, as I was talking to the women, I was noticing the awkwardness when you first walk up. We were taking a dance class with some of the women, and then I was meeting some other women, I was dancing with them. It was, a, it was like a country swing dance night, we're having a blast. And the women would often, when you first start talking to them, some of them, especially the more shy ones, would get a little awkward inside. There's a sense they pull back, they get a little tweaked. And I started to think how much that used to affect me back in the old days, how much that used to bother me. I used to think, oh, I'm bothering her. She doesn't want me to talk to her. Uh, she doesn't want me around her. And as I got better at this, I realized that's not necessarily true. It could be true that she's uncomfortable and just wants to leave. But it could be also, and this is often the case, that she's just shy or she's just nervous. I mean, you're walking up and you're starting a conversation with a beautiful woman. That happens, right? And you get awkward even while you're doing it, even when you want to talk to her, even when you want to talk to her more, even when you want to ask her for the phone number, even when you want to lean in and whisper something naughty in her ear. You get awkward. You get uncomfortable. You don't think the same thing happens to her that when a guy walks up that she finds attractive, sexy, like look at this sexy guy, he's really masculine, he's really grounded, and starts talking to her, that she might get a little uncomfortable. That she might even wanna start pulling back unconsciously. Have you ever experienced yourself walking away from a woman that you liked, like cutting the conversation off early, cutting it short, walking away and then going, why did I do that? I mean, I know I've done that. I've seen students do that a million times. And in reality, you didn't want to walk away, did you? Well, women do this all the time too. When you first do an approach, they might get uncomfortable. They might get nervous. They might be like, well, got to go to the store. And it may be as simple as you going, well, hang on a minute. You know, I'm in a hurry too, but really quick, let me ask you one more question. And then they start to relax a little bit more. You might have to do that a couple times, then pretty soon you two are talking for a half hour. You're on an instant date. See, part of your job as the masculine is to create this safe space for the awkwardness to settle down. I'm gonna say that again, is to create a safe space for that awkwardness in the beginning of a conversation to settle down. And if you get really good at that, if you learn to master the first one, two, three, four minutes of a conversation, you're gonna have more dates than you know what to do with because that's where the skill is in approaching women. It's getting comfortable being uncomfortable. It's getting good at grounding out awkward in yourself and others. It's being good at pushing tension, pushing boundaries a little bit while being playful and having fun inside, even while the awkwardness is ensuing. It's knowing when to back off and give her a little space, but, but hold space so she doesn't walk away. It's knowing when to lean in and push that tension a little bit. Even though she gets uncomfortable, she giggles and she laughs. It's knowing when to step in with a little bit more turn on and really just take a moment and enjoy her even though she's blushing and pulling back a little bit. It's knowing when she's in her head too because she's just nervous. You see, all this applies to women just as much as it applies to you. Not all women, but I promise you there's those confident women too. I mean, I walked up to the bar the other night where we were out at the uh, dance club and there were some awkward women we were dancing with and uncomfortable and they were nervous, but they were enjoying you know, having me talk to them. And what's awesome about dance clubs is sometimes you'll, after you learn the dance moves, like in this case, it was a country swing and you're standing at the side of the dance floor, these women will come over and kind of stand next to you awkwardly and they're kind of in their heads because they, they so want some guy to ask him to dance because they just, they're there to dance. They want to dance. And they'll nervously lean over and go, do you want to dance? Terrified that you're going to reject them. And you can really see this in some of these dance clubs. 
Well, this is true all over the world. Now, coming back to my previous point, when I walked up to the bar, I met a woman who was not shy. She immediately went, hi, as I went up to, I was ordering some food. And and as I went up to order the food, she's like, hey, what's up? And we started chatting and we had a great flowing conversation. She was a chatty chick. She just loved talking and she was sexy and she was beautiful. So not all women are going to be like this. But don't just look for the women that are confident. They're going to talk to you immediately. They are out there. You can go through a lot of women to find them. But some of these shy women, they open up and blossom and become really talkative, confident. They have so much to share. And sometimes they're just nervous. And the more you stand there and create space for them to open up, the more they're going to appreciate it later. And you guys can even talk about it later. Oh, you were so awkward and tease her a little bit. She'll be like, I wasn't awkward. That was you. And you can have fun with it. So I just want to invite you to go out and start to explore this idea of the first, let's say, three minutes of a conversation or so. Set a timer and have the timer go off at three minutes and go out and just say, how comfortable can I get in this awkward first three minutes? How comfortable can I get just hanging in there for a minute, two minutes, and ultimately three minutes and grounding out the awkwardness? And then see what happens. See how many more conversations when you add that persistence and commitment start to extend into longer and longer conversations when normally they would have ended because you would have pulled away or you would have let her walk away because she she sheepishly was like, yeah, okay, see you later. And if you just called her back, hey, one more thing. She would be like, oh yeah, what what else? because that's kind of how nervous women react. Or in her mind, she wants to still leave because she's on, let's say you're at the mall and she still wants to go somewhere. She's on her mission. Maybe she's going to Sephora to buy some makeup or, or going to look at to buy, buy some new clothes. And in her mind, that's where I'm supposed to be going. And this handsome guy stops me. Does he want to date me? Does he not want to date me? What does he want? Okay, I'm, I got to go. I got to go shopping. And you're like, hold on, wait, wait one minute. Come here, come here. I'm not done with you yet. And she giggles and then you go, yeah, I'm, I'm in a hurry too. But anyways, let me ask you one more question. And you ask her that next question, and then pretty soon she realizes this guy's serious and he's, he's investing in me, he's interested in me with, with masculine skills of presence. Then she will eventually start relaxing and start enjoying your company. Next thing you know, you're walking to the store together. Next thing you know, you're getting a coffee together. And so it's that first three minutes. So I want to invite you again to set a timer and play with that first three minutes. Have fun with that first three minutes. Enjoy that first three minutes. Learn to make it your playground of awkwardness and confusion and discomfort and getting to know each other and getting turned on by each other. Or maybe realizing at the end you're you're totally not interested in each other because you put in the time to really figure that out instead of just walking away 30 seconds in, a minute in. Now, to do this, you can build it up a little bit at a time. First, set the timer for 30 seconds, then set the timer for a minute, then set the timer for a minute and a half. Build up to three minutes. You're going to notice when you start hitting, uh, when you start getting comfortable being in that awkward first few minutes up to about three minutes, then it's going to start to open up, maybe a little after that. And then pretty soon, you're, you're going to get over your fears and you're going to get really good at grounding people out when they're uncomfortable and creating a safe space for them to relax. I'm going to say that again creating a safe space for them to relax. So all you have to do is take your cell phone, get a good timer, put it on vibrate, stick it in your pocket. And and then when you hit that first 30 seconds, celebrate. And the next when you can hit a minute, celebrate if you're really nervous. If you can go all the way to three minutes, really celebrate. And there's going to be a point for you, probably around three minutes, a little more, a little less, where you're going to start to get really comfortable playing with those awkward moments. So hopefully you like this video. Um, I, I really enjoyed my other night at the bar and I was thinking a lot about this and I really think for a lot of you this could be a game changer as you practice this okay and use it everywhere use it anywhere okay and so again hopefully you like this video I'm going to invite you one more time to like subscribe and share so you don't miss any of the valuable content so hit that and hit the bell notification too so you so that we pop up in your feed And uh, make sure to comment below. We love your comments. Uh, I'm always checking them out. Usually when the video first comes out, I'll scroll through a little bit. There's either me or Landon. We'll be in there checking those out. So make sure to put in comments. Let us know personally how this is going for you, how comfortable you are in awkwardness, how long you can last in awkwardness. That's what I want to know. And also make sure to check out my recent video. It's my last video. I was doing a, a little interview series with Anthony. 
in Miami where I talked about my, uh, the best cities to date in. Now, I haven't been to every city in the world, so I was just talking about my best cities, but there's a lot of great comments in that video about other cities that I'm sure are phenomenal. I can't wait to get out and spend some time in Colombia and Brazil. Those are two that I'm looking for and uh, looking forward to. And for you, I definitely wanna hear in that video where your favorite cities are. With that said, have a beautiful day. Remember, only the confident really live, and I'll see you in the next video.